everyone. I'm Helen Erlen, Executive Director of the Erlen Institute. Many people have asked me about how do I find out more information about Erlen Syndrome, visual processing deficits, where do I go? I've written two books and I'd like to kind of tell you about them. The first book that I wrote way back when is called Reading by the Colors. It's also been translated in various languages with very pretty and different colors. Um, this book takes you, was written back in the late 1980s, and there's some fun, unique things in this book talking primarily about reading and how visual processing deficits of a specific type um, that I've called Erlen syndrome can affect reading, and it gives you examples of some of the distortions that can appear for people when they're reading so that you can get an idea and sense of what it's like except for it's a little worse than that because it moves instead of just staying still. Um, but it lets you have a real feeling and let somebody else pick up the page and say fine you try reading while this is happening and it's like there's a flashlight shining behind it into your eyes. How well do you read? So it kind of validates the fact that this is not your fault um, and there's nothing you could have done to control the printed page. In addition, the book has in it various colored pages. So you can try reading on different colored pages and see if one of the colors makes a difference, makes it easier, faster, or more comfortable to read. And everyone says they enjoy reading the topic, so. <laughs> um, you can also get onto Erlen.com and change the background color on Erlen.com and get a feeling for what it's like to read on different colors and find out if high contrast, especially black print on white, is affecting your brain's ability to process information so that things don't look clear or maybe not stable and it makes it uncomfortable. We started with reading by the colors and over the years found out that it wasn't just people who had reading problems that were affected by having, pro having difficulties with their brain's ability to process information, but it affected a lot more people. So my newest book is called The Erlen Revolution a guide to changing your perception and your life because it changes your brain. What's nice about this book is it takes you into all the areas and all the labels that can be affected by having distorted perception or misperception. And I saw also it gets you a flavor for whether your ADD or ADHD diagnosis may be a misdiagnosis, um, how much this can affect uh, autism or someone on the autistic spectrum. It looks at TBIs and concussions and whiplash. Um, there's head injuries and also things like anxiety and panic disorder that may occur because you have inherited this syndrome, except for those who have head injuries. Then you didn't inherit it, you kind of acquired it because <laughs> you played the wrong sport. Um, and I'm going to talk about that as well. So let me recommend these as references so that you can find out a lot more. There's self-tests included in both books. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to say, I wonder if my headaches are related to Erlen syndrome. I wonder if because I had a head injury, now I'm struggling, is, can it be helped with the Erlen method? Thank you for joining me.